We are joined today on RTV by Reading Phillies pitcher Kyle Drabeck. Kyle, number one draft pick in 2006. You had Tommy John surgery at the end of 2007. Never a good thing to go through that kind of surgery. Uh, did you ever fear not being the same pitcher when you came back from that? I would say a little bit, but um, talking to the doctors, they were telling me that it was a 90 per, 90, high 90% chance that I'd uh, come back healthy, and uh, that kind of took the edge off uh, a lot of the deaths that I wouldn't play again. Have you had to alter your motion, mechanics, anything like that? I did. I had to uh, change a little hip turn that I had uh, before, which I think helped me out, uh, changing it to straight up and down for the command of my fastball. No uh, ill effects? No, not really. Not, not right now. <laughs> your first eight starts have come at First Energy Stadium. It's uh, kind of a strange situation. You have, uh, haven't pitched on the road at all. Do um, you like pitching at First Energy Stadium here? Absolutely. I mean, the fans are great. Uh, they're always behind you, and uh, that always helps when you're pitching. They say this is a bit of a hitter's park. Uh, you've had some success here, obviously. Do you find that this is a hitter's park, or is it just a situation where you know, keep the ball down and you'll be okay? Uh, apparently, I've got pretty lucky. Um, I would say it's a hitter's park. I mean, I've seen some balls uh, go out of here pretty far and some that don't look like they're hit well, uh, real well, but still get out of here. Your dad, of course, Doug Drayback, I think uh, just about everybody knows that. Um, he had great success in the major leagues. In 1992, uh, he was involved in one of the most exciting games in postseason history, Game 7 against the Braves, uh, the last, uh, last minute slide there by Sid Breen bringing home the winning run. Does he ever talk about that? Um, yeah, we talk about it sometimes. Cause, uh, uh, it'll come on ESPN Classic uh, a few times, and we always like to watch it and uh, kind of rip on him about some of the stuff. And uh, I mean, uh, Sid Bream, he's kind of like my godfather since my dad played with him in Pittsburgh. And we always like to make fun of how slow he was and how he still made it home. <laughs> okay, is, that the, is that the situation where he was able to teach you don't get down, you know, come back, it'll always be tomorrow kind of thing from that sort of experience, losing that big of a game? Yeah, I mean, there's always tomorrow, and he was good with teaching me uh, that you're always going to play again, and uh, that you always need to stay, keep your head up, and just keep going out there and pitching. Like I said, you were number one draft pick, son of a, a prominent major leaguer. Which is more pressure for you, being a number one pick or being the son of a major leaguer? Uh, I'd probably say being the first round pick, uh, just because you're the first rounder and I think people expect more from you. And as uh, the son of a former major leaguer, uh, I mean, there's a little pressure, but not as much as a lot of people think. So it's really not that bad. What's one aspect of your game that really you would like to improve on the most? Change up. I think uh, I had to kind of learn one when I got here. I didn't throw one in high school. And about, I'd say after Tommy John, that it started to come together a little bit. I mean, it's gotten better and better, but uh, not really where I want it to be. Double A, they say, is uh, always the toughest level to make that jump. What do you find is the toughest part of double A? The hitters. Uh, you, everyone's a great hitter. Um, they don't swing at many bad pitches. They hit your mistakes a lot more. And uh, I mean, just the all around uh, hitters are great. Speaking of hitters in Double A Eastern League, you get to hit a little bit. Uh, you seem to enjoy it. You started out with a three-game hitting streak, including a three-for-three three performance. You like to swing the bat? I, I do. I love it. Used to play shortstop in high school, and hitting was probably one of the more fun things to do. But uh, I still like pitching a little bit more. But I do love hitting. What do you enjoy outside of baseball? Kind of just hanging out with friends. Uh, I mean, just doing anything. Just hanging out, really. All right, Kyle Drabeck, thank you for joining us on Reading Phillies Television. Thank you.